the day started for us at about 8.30 a.m. I got there a little early. I wanted to be punctual because we weren't guaranteed a spot on the stage. And so I was the youngest one there. So they highlighted a lot, first election, first election. And then when Candy came around to meet with all the tables, you know, they made a point of picking me out and saying that I was, you know, this is my first election, I'm gonna be voting in. Then at the end of the rehearsal, they were like giving out the debate cards of like, cause everyone got one out of the four questions they wrote. So I was the first one to get my card. So, and then I saw the question that I was, that they picked for me to ask and I had an idea. I was gonna ask it at some point, but then I like saw one of the papers and it said my name next to the number one. And as soon as the debate started, I kind of calmed down, and as soon as Candy Crowley said, this question is coming from a first-time voter, I was mentally prepared to ask the question. And after I asked it, I felt both candidates did give reasonable answers. What can you say to reassure me, but more importantly, my parents, that I will be able to sufficiently support myself after I graduate? The question Candy picked was very good because it represents a whole bunch of the youth in America that really don't know what their future holds and they really stress about it. They don't know if they're going to be able to move out of their parents' house and support themselves sufficiently. So once the candidates answered it, Mitt Romney started, when I was asking the question, he started like slowly walking at me. So I was still looking him directly in the eyes. I was thinking, don't move suddenly, no sudden movements because he looked very, very serious and I didn't want to mess anything up. 2014. When you come out in 2014, I presume I'm going to be president. I'm going to make sure you get a job. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> Even in the rehearsals, we could sense that the energy was very high. It was a high level energy. Then when you walked in and the spotlights were very bright, like when Miss Romney was asking me the question, I kept blinking. I don't know if it was shown on TV, but I could barely keep my eyes open for blinking. The spotlight was so strong. And you just see, you look up in the crowd and all these people and during the 8.30 portion, when they were introducing like all the people, like the donors, and they, they were sitting all the way up there, and you just realize how special it was that politicians, I think Governor Cuomo was up there, how special it was that us 80 participants got to sit on the stage and witness the event, that it's really a once-in-a-lifetime experience. Jeremy, first of all, your future is bright, and the fact that you're making an investment in higher education is critical, not just to you, but to the entire nation. I think I've gotten experience that not many or if any first time voters have ever gotten before. Not only was I on stage, I was able to ask questions to the president. And finally, you know, I got to meet Mitt Romney, Barack Obama, his wife at the end of everything. So that was a very fun experience. Like I got to socialize like person to person. Like at that point, we he wasn't the president and I wasn't someone voting. And Mitt Romney wasn't like the governor and I wasn't someone voting. They were just two people you're just talking to, just try, like everyday life. And I thought that, along with the whole energy of the debate, me asking the first question was something that I'll remember for a long time.